Yeah, I do, I do, I do. Okay, well, I've made a list now of all the tomatoes that I think I've got uh, and uh, where they belong and what they like. So, indoors or outdoors, determinate, indeterminate, pot cherry, cascading cherry, you name it, beef stick, cherry, uh, beef stick, tomatoes. So, anyway, so what I'll do is I've got, oh, I'll get up, so far. Got some here. This lot here. Oh, some nice ones. Some are not so bad. Not so bad. I don't thank the rat for pulling out the uh, pulling out the tags. So honestly, not a pain in the proverbial. Anyway, what's this? Pot Terry Mini Bell. So that'll do. What? What's that one? Let's have a look. Yeah, mini bell. That lot needs watering as well. What have I got up here? Small tomato outdoor bushing princey buggies. So they're not bad either. So yeah, so now I know where, where they belong. Um I'll be able to find a home for them hopefully. What I don't, what I don't have space for. Well, <laughs> I might land up giving people some as well. Meanwhile, in this greenhouse, now that I've moved the tomatoes out, Buckley Atlantic Giant. I've got too much. <laughs> some need the water. This one actually here. There's some that overwintered, but I'm not bothered. I have got an infestation of uh, white fly, which I found on the peppers so I'll get busy with that this lot oh, oh, that's what all you need you chuck your peppers on the ground right so these are the ones that are actually bellboy I potted on uh, these are the ones I bought from, from Lidl and I've potted on and they need potting on again but all these are going outside in the garden this year um I'm going to give it a bash, but they've done quite well, and they like their tomato feed, uh, etc. So, yeah, not so bad at all. The vine's doing very well for itself. It's got some nice uh, fruit on, so I'll be looking forward to that. And then what we've also bought in addition to the fusilia, oh, oh for fusilia, is a volunteer strawberry. All the way down there. There's um, strawberries in this bed um, and in this bed here. So this is all being turfed out now uh, to make way for a second greenhouse. So yeah, I'm not going to move them as long as they've put that much fruit on. There's some of them that were moved. There's some more that were moved. Uh, what I do have a problem with um, let's see, unfortunately, um, well, I found out too late that you can get onions that have been heat treated to stop them from bolting. Um, I'd already planted these long, long ago, so I wasn't quite sure what I had. Um, I got them from DT Brown, and I'm not knocking them. Uh, they, they are actually, they're coming up very nice, uh, but they've got scapes on, so I've taken the scapes off in the hope that it'll signal to the plants to uh, to bulk up a bit more anyway anyway back to what I was saying so we bought this lovely cooking apple tree so it is 
I see now, 39.99. Uh, Bram the apple. So, pretty little tree. And uh, if we're lucky, we might get some fruit off it as well this year. So I think it was well worth it. You could buy, you could have bought um, 15 pound ones, um, but you were lucky to see anything off them this year. The young, young trees. This is a little bit more, uh, what do you call it, mature. As you can see, so if we're lucky, we might get an apple or so off it. Anyway, so we welcomed it to the garden with a nice bucket of manure. See, Max is checking everything over. Right, this is uh, this is my a little perennial bed. More than half the school to edge it for me. Pack for gladiolas and things. Some of the perennials I put in the other day got got by slugs. Like, for instance, my delphinium. This is that one there, which I'm not happy about. So, I've left a calling card for for the slugs. And uh, I planted some some seeds, or should I scattered some seed. And here, all the way along the border, we've got um, alisum and lobelia. So, we'll see what comes up. And, uh, yeah. The, so the, I had a, um, a cold frame on here, taken the cold frame off and then burst the broad beans. They've got lots of flowers on now, they've picked up really well. The next one to lose the cold frame is the parsnip bed. Only little parsnips, right, but early doors. You know. And uh, yeah, what else we got? I got the first of my, my bedding dahlias come up, which is right there. So I'll have to find some more room for the other dahlias I've, that I've got in the greenhouse. They've got to come out. Right, so the red cones that I've got here, I've had to cover them over. Um, I thought I might get away with it, but the pigeons have found them. Uh, and uh, broke a branch off, which I'm not really happy about. So I think they're covered over now. And then... <laughs> It's alright, I'm just laughing there because you know, like it's a play with her football. You got your football? Yeah? You want a little ball, do you? Little girl, little girl ball? No, no, you want a football. Did you? Right, anyway, back to this. Right, swing you around. Yeah, I was always looking at the uh, wild garlic and how pretty they are this year. So uh, you can pick your garlic, your wild garlic leaves, or some of them anyway, and you could dry them and make them into a powder. Um, that's the one we are preserving, I suppose. Yeah. They, these are decided to pick up now. I forgot what they are. Never mind. I remember. Yeah. And yeah, lots of asparagus. I'm going to have to take a cup of fire. It might be too late now. There's a couple of spears that are not open. I think I could take them. Take those, right? What, to, what else? Yeah, I planted some. Geez, it? It's just the red, mainly the red onions that got got escapes on. So that's what I think you're supposed to do is take a, the flower head off them. Well, they'll get used. Yeah, so all the way along here mm -hmm. is my wall of alderman peas. So germination, not very good at all. So I decided to hedge my bet, my bet and order some more. And then I'll, I'll put them in. Yeah, I saw. The, the, only, the only timing, very gently, there was one day, it was absolutely, it, in fact, it was so windy, and I tell you, they, they didn't time, they clanged. Yeah. The tomatoes are doing fine. They're doing fine, they're happy. So I might get some nice tomatoes off them. So much to do. Don't panic. No, just don't panic, just take it easy. Well, so, yeah, there's some more scapes here. Yeah, white onions, look at that. 
Yep, off it goes. Tastes nice as well. You now tell though with nature how how everything has uh, took a leap, an absolute leap. Uh, what was I going to show you? Oh yeah. <laughs> Now we've got a little bit of weeding to do in here, amongst the onions. Um, I've got some, I think it's sulfate of ammonia, which I've got to put over the onions here, uh, which helps them grow. The, um, the strip of um, beetroots that I bought a while back, they just sort of marked time until it got warm enough. So now they've taken a spurt, so we've got a nice little row of, of uh, beetroot in there. Yeah, so this is going to be the outdoor tomato bed. Like that, so I've just got to work out how many how, how many tomato plants and uh, and then put them in. I've got a better chance of putting them in because the plants are not so big. And the tomatoes that I brought out, um, the, the pots were just too big to put through the membrane, so I decided to... Um, well, should I say, the root ball were too, were too big. So that's why I planted the main pots. Oh, this is settled in. I know for definite this is broccoli. So all I've got to do now is uh, keep an eye on it. It's protected enough anyway for just now. And, uh, yeah, and I've got to give it water. Yeah, these beds here are going to get edged as well perennial beds. Funnily enough, the, uh, the slugs haven't found this, these beds, yet. So it'll, it'll look nice anyway when they get going. And the peas are settled in nicely. And on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a re-dig. Once these peas are done, I'm going to add some... What I normally have uh, squash or uh, what do you call marrow? What do you got? Not marrows. Courgettes. Courgettes. We normally have courgettes along here, but this year because I've got that many cabbages and whatnot um, that I still want to plant, I'm going to start adding some cabbages to this lot and here as well. So I'm going to optimise as much as much of the garden space as I can. I've got this, these are going to be two walls of copper beans. So I'm going to have to buy another freezer to accommodate all of them as well. <laughs> yeah, potato buckets are doing fine. So I'll have to make sure that they're, I'll, start, I'll just have a quick check. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Nice and moist underneath. So. That's what I like to see. We've had some, watched some lovely weather. It helps everything set. All the uh, the pansies are doing lovely. It's absolutely cracking they are. I've got cleaner hands now, but this year. Yeah. So I've got some special rhododendron stroke azalea uh, feed, so I'm going to have to give them a feed. The fruit trees are going to get a feed as well while they're fruiting, so just aid them. <laughs> That's a bit of fun. Yeah, this lot probably needs watering soon as well. See all the cabbages here, they yeah, need a little bit of water. Cosmos. Yeah, gosh almighty. <laughs> Look at that, the azaleas not plugged in the ground, they've got their first flower on. Yeah, cabbages. More azaleas. More cosmos. Yeah, you just don't panic. You see, you can see all the work, but don't panic. Make a plan. And plan your time. Well, this this bed is supposed to be King Edward. Um, the first and second earlys were out like a shot out of the ground, but the King Edwards are taking their merry time. So hopefully, very shortly, we'll see some some kind of sign that they're here. I hope they ha I hope they haven't uh, rotted and 
thing about the whole bed, uh, <laughs> I, I don't think it will. I think it will come up eventually. If not, I will find something to put in this, that's for sure. Yep, these onions are doing lovely. Got some nice size to them. Nice size. I'll look forward to see them later on. Just crossing my fingers that they don't all bolt. But uh, short or long they will be used. No signs of rust or anything like on them. On them. Coming up quite well. There's another skip. So off it goes. And of course, in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, these were, um, there's a pot, pot of, uh, what do you call it, when you take the side shoots off your tomatoes, suck it in some rooting powder, yeah, and then got some extra, got some here, so, yeah, it was in good time. I didn't get I didn't get here early enough today so but the size of this <laughs> size of this is an Atlantic giant pumpkin. And as much as I'd like to put them outside, I think we're gonna have to plant or uh, put them on. Yeah, we even got flowers on look. And so and tomatoes. Right, okay. I'll just turn this around. Alright then and uh, yeah. That's uh, the that's state of the nation for just now. Uh, don't panic. Yeah, Take your time, make a plan. I've, I've started mine by looking at how many tomato plants I've got, figure out how many tomatoes that need to go out in the garden, what, what, what variety, what, they ha what I have to do with them, or are they determinate tomatoes, or are they indeterminate? Indeterminate means that they carry on growing and growing and growing. Uh, into infinity if you let them, if, if the season allows them. And determinate means they'll just they'll, they'll go to a certain size and that's the end of it. So, yeah, and I'm sure there's hundreds and hundreds of, of uh, varieties of tomatoes out there. Um, I think I've, well, you've seen how many I've got. Uh, if you can see it, uh, if you've got any other varieties uh, uh, that I haven't got, Please share down below in the comment section. Let's make a let's make a concise list of uh, tomato plants, so you can, everyone can everyone can have a look, see what you're growing, and uh, let's make a list and see how many we can clock up. All right, All right, folks, I'll knock off for now. I've got some watering to do. I've got to look after those tomato plants, and uh, yeah. I've, I've got a bit to do before I finish, so I'll say goodbye for oh, I'm looking at, not even looking, looking at myself, not looking at the camera. I should be looking at you. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in another video. Bye for now.